fact, we, uh, we're going to move to something that may not be uh, nonpartisan, bipartisan. <laughs> <laughs> Question comes from Wilmer. Will, uh -oh. there be, will there be any expansion of background checks for gun purchases? I don't think so. No. no. I think uh, Second Amendment uh, issues uh, haven't, uh, haven't uh, got a, enough support on either side of the aisle. Uh, in the Senate, the only bipartisan vote we've had is uh, to not uh, go further with uh, more background checks. Uh, saying that, though, the effort is there's a lot of laws on the books already, Jim, yep. that many people don't even know exist. And unfortunately, some of them aren't even being used. And uh, we've seen that in the shootings uh, in uh, Florida and in other subsequent ones. Well, that, you know what? Uh, I, I, and, 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 and then secondly, uh, what has grown out of this, though, is the need for mental health that I talked about earlier, I attribute that initiative in the bonding bill largely to some of the mental health issues we are trying to get serious about dealing with, and school safety, as, as Paul uh, mentioned earlier. And those, those are the things where I think the effort is coalesced around bipartisanly. Democrats and Republicans, uh, we are going at those issues that, that have existed for a long time, and uh, we might have the nucleus to get Get things done well, on that. And I wish, Tori, I, I wish Senator Limmer would have had some hearings this year because Senator Latz, who's been having these conversations a long, long time, had some good amendments this year on the Senate floor that in the, the right, like you say, there's got to be the right atmosphere for that. I think their atmosphere is there. We've saw more people come to us, um, citizens come to us, say, do something. And, yeah, we can touch the mental health. And I was one of the first senators to bring school-based mental health. It was $10 million in 2014, right? You addressed that. But that's not the root cause of the problem. There are some other issues there that we need to do it. And I think the only way to do that is if we would have open hearings on this conversation. And, and again, this is where you got to set the politics aside because we're not talking about messing with the Second Amendment. Absolutely not. What we're talking about is dealing some holistic look at really what's going on. And, and I believe Lats had some really good uh, amendments in, in those things. And, and again, the senator did a good job on that. And it's too bad that uh, your leadership did not heed the words of people and do that. And I'm not yeah. blaming you, Tori, well, or blaming well, anybody. I just wish we'd have an open conversation about it. Representative Mark Fair. Well, you know, we have to make sure we're doing things that are going to really make a, a difference because it does get really partisan. And I've always yeah. been to the premise that normal people do not go into schools and shoot children. Yeah. And so you do really have to start with the mental health aspect and make sure that people who have a mental illness or violent criminal background of some sort do not have guns. But a lot of the things you see aren't going to maybe work. They're not going to have the bipartisan support, which I think you really need when you deal with an issue like this. And I think the focus this year on really looking at what you could do with safe schools, uh, not only with the infrastructure in the building, but looking at mental health yeah. and school resource officers probably was the best way to go. You know, my, my, the thing that I liked about, <clears throat> excuse me, the safe schools aspect of this on the House side, I haven't seen what the Senate's doing. It may be the same. It may be different. But on the House side, we looked at the individual schools individually. So one of the things that surprised me, and this was, I don't know why this was ironic, but when we talked about it in the room, our more urban and suburban legislators, their schools didn't have a whole lot of safety on the facilities. Where in greater Minnesota, we do. Um, that, that seemed to reverse in my mind. But there's also other issues related to making a school safe, and that's where the mental health comes in, some of these other things. So uh, uh, Chair Jennifer Loon did a really good job of putting together a plan that basically uh, freed up the school to say, uh, you do what you think is best for your school. If it means if it means different doors, then get the different doors. If it means you need to have a counselor, then you get the counselor. If you need to have um, some some law enforcement presence, then do that. And and so I thought that was a really good formula that seems to be gaining a lot of support. 